Hello and happy Vlogmas day four. We are getting ready to go run our one and only errand of the day, which is taking some recycling to the recycling unit. And then I'm thinking about going and grabbing a burger for lunch. Um, haven't fully decided on that. Hi. My little jumping bean has been watching cartoons all morning. It's been a super chill, lazy morning. Oh, you're gonna close the door. This is his new thing. He likes to close the door, but not all the way because he can't open it and it makes him very frustrated. So we're probably just gonna hang at home and do some homey things and hopefully make those keto cookies that I got the other day. But we're gonna get going because Luke is getting a little bit um, antsy to get out of the house. Picked up a toasted white chocolate mocha. I'm being such a couch potato today. Just got home because I drove around for a bit thinking about where am I gonna get the best burger from? And Luca fell asleep, so I didn't wanna go to Five Guys. And I didn't wanna go to Burger Five. I didn't wanna go anywhere where I had to get out of the car because I didn't wanna get him out of the car and risk waking him up. So then I was like, where should I go? What drive through has the best burger? And then I drove around for way more time than I should have thinking about this, only to come home empty handed to preheat the oven and make a frozen pizza. Which I'm like, wow, that just really shows like what my life is today. Just like a blah jumble of just like indecisiveness. So um, I'm gonna make some pizza. And I'm just gonna sit here on the couch, I think, until Luca wakes up. I don't know. I feel like I should be doing something productive, but I also feel like such couch potato. Like I just, I don't wanna get off the couch and like do anything. So I guess that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit on the couch, watch some TV, maybe like some Grey's Anatomy or something. Make this pizza, veg out, chill out, and just, you know, live my life, so. I've got the full set on here, the full on relaxation set. Pizza is done. We're just gonna take the mix with a quarter cup of oil. I'm gonna use avocado oil just cause it's the handiest. And then a quarter cup of milk and she make 12 cookies. So they look really yummy. Um, they look so plain though. I think I need to add something on top. I'm thinking maybe some of those marshmallows, but I don't know, would you put that on before you cook it or right after you cook it or in the middle of cooking it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up really quick. Okay, so the game plan is we're gonna bake them and then take them out, add the marshmallows and bake them for two to three more minutes. Into the oven they go. So I decided we are gonna break up some of these stars, add marshmallows and M&Ms on top, because why not? Look how cute they are. Okay, I'm gonna put them back in for three minutes and check on them. 
They look so good. Gonna let them cool and we'll come back later and taste test. So when I was relaxing on the couch earlier, I was thinking the coffee table, since we don't have an entertainment center, um, I'm gonna move it where that white shelf is. And then I'm gonna move the white shelf over here because I think it just makes better sense for the space because when the coffee table is here, it's just like really um, crowded and this is like Luca's play zone. So I want, what are you doing? So I just wanna open up the space more so I can keep a better eye on him. And so he has more space to move around. What are you doing, buddy? Okay, I think I like this better. Gives more space for those big toys over there and also I can put the toys on there and in there to clean up. I have to leave this here though because when I say this, I'm talking about that cube in the calendar because I'm trying to like block off the lights. Actually, I think I can move the light back over here because this could be covering it. Okay guys, so since today's Saturday, I like to get a grocery list ready for the following week because my husband and I always grocery shop on Sunday. And I try to think about things in terms of meals, like what do we need for breakfast? What do we need for lunch? What do we need for snacks? What do we need for dinners? So if I just kind of brainstorm some easy breakfast, easy lunch, easy dinners ahead of time. Sorry, I'm wobbling the table, I'm gonna stop doing that. But if I make a plan and a list, it's usually a much more budget-friendly way to grocery shop. We really love grocery shopping, so like, love going to Whole Foods, we love going to Sprouts, we love going to all the health food stores, we love going to Costco. Um, Publix, but the best deals, like honestly, absolute best deals you can find are at Aldi. Like there is places that you wanna shop, like more couponing and sales that carry like different healthy brands that Aldi obviously doesn't carry. But if you just wanna get an amazing deal on produce, on meat, on cheese, milk, keep it simple, find some good frozen goodies occasionally, Aldi is it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I plan out my grocery list for the week and I plan out my meals for the week and I keep things just really easy and simple that way and it just, it makes life so much easier. Like, it's crazy. Okay, so starting with the breakfast list. So simple at our house. Um, eggs, bread, cheese, berries, baking, yogurt. Those are like all the essentials that we use to create just different breakfasts every day. Um, sometimes it switches up, like I'll make pancakes, but um, we already have pancakes, so I don't need to add that in. Then going down to lunches, um, again, this is not like everything that I need, but this is just what we currently need at the house. So I always like to find chicken noodle because Luca loves it. Um, carrots, bananas, frozen pizza, pot stickers, those are mostly for me. Um, but Selena really likes peanut butter jelly. Luca's just started to be into peanut butter and jelly and we already have all those things so I don't need to add those in. Um, for snacks, applesauce, chips, pastry crisps. Sometimes I get ramen noodles for Selena but um, 
I'm not really going to add it to the list because she's at school most of the day, so she doesn't really have that as a snack. Um, for drinks, all we ever get is milk or coffee. I mean, also, we sometimes we get like specialty coffees or kombucha or stuff like that just for fun, but usually this is the only, these are the only two things we pick up. Usually, though, those are the only two drinks we pick up at Aldi. So then dinners, this is where it gets a little bit, um, just like to your preference, but these are just easy dinners that I feel confident in being simple and quick to throw together. Um, so once I write down all the different dinners I have in mind, which as you can see, there's only six because one day can work well as like a takeout day, out to eat day or leftover day. But once I write down everything, then I write down all the ingredients that I will need. So, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, it keeps things really simple. It keeps things really streamlined. And then when I need to figure out what am I going to be making, I just go back to the dinner and I just mark things off as I go. So that's just what works for me. Um, sometimes, I like to get a little more creative and there'll still be a day where I'll run out and get new ingredients for something new or different. But usually if I have this list set and ready to go and I have all the ingredients, I will not deviate from it. So it just makes my life really easy because it's just like, what am I making tonight? Look at the list, I have all these options and I pick one and process of elimination throughout the week. I have everything I need. I don't need to go to the grocery store unless I'm going out for like something different or special. We have a lot of staple items right now. We have a lot of like um, dried items on hand. We already have a bit of snack food, things like that. So I don't need to add those to the list, but sometimes, you know, obviously you do. You guys, I just got word back about a Facebook marketplace find. So the lady lives about, I would say 20 minutes away and so close to the beach. So instead of going on a walk, Luca and I are gonna go get these chairs and then we're gonna go to the beach. Just really excited. That's something I wanted to do and this works out perfectly because I have a reason to go over that way to begin with. So, really excited. We made it out to the water. Hey. Come on. What do you think, buddy? So pretty, huh? <laughs> yeah. Here are the chairs from Facebook Marketplace. I love them. I'm gonna put them over there in the office area eventually. But right now, um, I've gotta move that table up to the loft and yeah, I have a lot to do before I can do that, but I love them. And that's gonna be a wrap on Vlogmas day four. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I had a lot of fun and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas day five. Bye.